from house doing our clock kit which is our subscription box that just is shipping out now um, and we always do a video that goes along with the box to show you how to assemble it and then we include a QR code with your subscription box um, in a minute I will drop a link we already are done with this quarter subscription boxes and they're mailing out but we have like 10 extra clock sets, not including the paint. So I'll drop a link for that if you want to snag one and you didn't. Um, and then I'll also drop the link for next quarter subscription box. You just have to sign up on Faith because I haven't even announced what it is. We've um, got a pretty good idea what it is. It's going to be awesome. It's <laughs> Yeah. It's well, I'll tell you, it's going to be exciting. a portable. We'll just say that. We haven't designed Maybe it Maybe two, yet. depending on how it works out. But... I, people always ask me, they're like, well, I want to know what the next subscription box is. And I'm just like, uh, I'm totally a last minute creative. So if you want it, you have to like sign up on it. It's like a surprise. It's like like a you surprise. just never know what you're going to get. And so far they've all been fun. I haven't, I haven't done one that I, that we've designed that I don't think is awesome. Oh, look, Odelia's on here. Sweet. All right. So I just dropped a link to the kit there that does go. not come with paint. So if you got your subscription box, you're gonna get paint and you're gonna get all the things you see. If you buy the kit that I just linked in comments in the live chat, that's just the face, the clock kit and a stencil. It's just that we we always order more than we think we're gonna need and we just have like 10 left over. So yep. the best deal is always the subscription box because you get the paint kit too. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna just go over the pieces of the clock because you do have to do a little bit of assembly. Some assembly required this month. Also, don't worry, we're still going live tonight. So set your alarms, 8.30 Mountain Time, the drift hall's <laughs> happening. All right, so your clock has a hole drilled in it. You're gonna wanna paint it and everything first, which is why it doesn't come with the clock kit installed. So it just goes in the back here, and I've designed it so that it just fits a little bit. You can fit the washer, and then the little nut that comes with the clock goes right over the top. I'm just gonna hand tighten mine. You can use pliers or the proper wrench. I think it's half inch. Hold on, let me give a disclaimer. I baggied these all up myself and made sure all the parts were in there. They're very little, especially the middle thing. Look how tiny that is. So if you have bad vision or a messy workspace or any of the above, when you are unloading your baggie, use a paper plate or a cookie sheet or something so you don't lose your parts because I think, did you already take that? I've got all your oh, parts. Oh, I was like, I already lost my part because it would be very easy to lose the little parts. Okay, so this is the front. I just screwed this on and then this is what the back looks like. And it does stand. It's freestanding all on its own. You could technically hang it, but the clock kit just it hangs out just a little bit. So just be aware of that. It's made to stand. Just like that. Joe, right. the next haul will be a corbel because the subscription boxes are about this big, so it'll be about this sized corbel, and then we'll have a fun finish that we teach for that one. But this month is the Mora Clock Shelf Sitter, and if you've already signed up for the subscription box, your box is mailing out with a QR code. And like I said, I dropped a link for the 10 extra just clocks, not paint included, that we have available, so. All right, so you're gonna get there. two hands, one short, one long. The short one goes on first. It's got a wider hole and you just press it onto the little plastic piece that's on the center of the clock. And it, it presses fairly snug. It's meant to be a tight fit and hold on there. And then you don't, don't have to worry about setting the time. You can do that later. And then the minute hand presses on over the top of that. And then there's this little round black cap. And once you get that on, this one is a little tricky. It does press on hard. You're gonna feel like you're breaking it, but just, just press it on there nice and firm. And that's what that looks like assembled. So you just have one little, one little um, nut to screw on there and then the two clock hands and you're done. They are a little delicate, so just be careful. If you, if you mush them out of shape on accident, just real light, you can just kind of Squish them back. Look, I bent this one pulling it off. No biggie. We'll just... So and I now just it's straight again. Um, the link to next quarter subscription box. So this one is going out the end of April. So it's already gone out. But then the next one, it's every three months. So the next one will go out in the end of July. We only do them quarterly because they're a lot of work. They're a lot of fun, but they're a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> and we always think that they're not gonna take as much time. This is probably by far the most involved kit we've ever had because I had to assemble the clock baggies because in order to fit them in our price, I had to order 500 and they did not come like all prepackaged. they came in a box. 
So I had to assemble these, and then I had to assemble the paint kits, and then Zeb had to glue together all the pieces. There's a lot to that situation. And Zeb routered this. We did have the CNC cut them, but he routered the face. Yeah, Ty so and Ryan cut them all out for us. It's a little bit of a, a process, but we do them quarterly. So I dropped that. Let's get started, though. Yep, yeah, you're also going to get the stencil here that fits. This is designed around this clock kit. So it would work for other things, but just know that if you center it on here, this is going to be what you get here with the clock. The benefit of me being a stencil manufacturer is I can make my stencils custom fit everything that we do, which is kind of fun. And the other thing about this stencil, um, and I might offer this for sale, we offer it in a bigger size already um, to fit like a standard size clock face, but the numbers are really cool. So even if you're not making a clock, you could reuse the stencil to number things like little drawers or whatever, that would be really fun. All right, we included milk paint in your kit. Careful, milk paint is pigment, which means if you open this and it explodes everywhere, you don't clean it up with water or you will have made paint. Just disclaimer. <laughs> Yeah, we, so we've had lots of explosions. We usually brush it up as much as we can, then we vacuum up as much as we can, and then once that's done, then we get the water out. You get about an ounce of paint, so we've got flour sack. I'm gonna reach over you here. Add a little bit of water at a time, because if it's too watery, you're out of luck. So this is how much paint comes in one kit. We're it's gonna see if ounce. we can do two clocks oh, with sure. one kit. I think we'll be okay with that. So this month, or this quarter, the colors will vary. So some of them are getting, I can't, what color is this from Sweet Pickens? Is that, that's not Bluebird, is it? No, it's Harbor. It's Harbor. Harbor, okay. I think it's Harbor. You picked it out. Ocean. I, ocean. Maybe I don't Harbor. know. I don't know. I have a bunch of Sweet Pickens milk paint and I just was like, girls, I want to send out a variety. So you're going to get anywhere from In a Pickle to Harbor to possibly Sweetie Jane. So every, the, the color is going to vary in the craft kits this month, but everybody gets white and black and a blue or a green. Also, what happened is I ordered Summer Cottage again, and I was like, oh, shoot, I sent that out. I can't send that out again. I sent that out, like, last quarter with the cute little spring thing that we did. So I decided that we would just send out a variety of colors. So I'm going to go, <laughs> since you only have so much in these craft kits, it's about a sample size. No, it's half a sample. Half a sample, okay. You get it one ounce -ish. So add your water slow so you don't get it too thin. Disclaimer, they were packaged by Eliza and Odelia, so, I mean, it's not like we have an exact science, but it's enough to do your craft kit and probably something else, too. Because, <laughs> I mean, the black you just need for the numbers, and they send you an ounce of paint. You don't need an ounce of paint to stencil numbers. Yep. Hey, Rashonda. Missy says she loves the skincare line. Me too. I have wrinkles and I also have acne at almost uh, 40 years old. And I, I've been enjoying it. I just have to remember to wash my face. I'm not super good at that. So when we're mixing up a lot, we use an immersion blender, but this almost isn't even enough. Like I don't think the blades would even catch on it. So I'm just using a fork. You can use a whisk. Warm water is best. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Want me to start mixing? Here, you can do that. I'll mix this other one. Okay. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of water to powder. If you want like the recommended consistency, I like to go a little bit thicker. So I add my water in slow. And it will thicken up as it sits. So you can add more water if you're like, oh, this is really <clears throat> resisting. Sorry, I have my morning scratchy voice. We gotta get this done though because we have to build a sheep barn. And we gotta mail these kits out. They're they're mailing, they're hitting the post office today Some, with the QR yeah. codes. Heidi, if you're watching, yours mailed without a QR code. The girls were too excited and eager beaver and sent it out to you already. So if you got the notification that your stuff was okay. shipped, the labels got printed, there it goes go. to it's the post sense. office today. People always ask, like, why do you use DIY or sweet pickings instead of DIY for your craft boxes? It's because it's really easy to ship. And I can buy it by the gallon and the five gallons. And then I, because I'm a retailer, I'm allowed to repackage it as long as I let people know what the product is that I'm using. And so it just makes the craft kits a lot more um, economical. And like I said, shipping powder in a little Ziploc bag is, <laughs> when you're shipping hundreds of craft boxes, it just makes life easy. All right, we're gonna get okay. this mixed up. I think mine's pretty much done. Are you All going, right. what I'm color do you want? I'm gonna white on the inside. I'm gonna use the blue on the outside. You could paint it black first on the outside and then wet distress to bring the black back. Maybe I'll do that along the edge. Okay, okay. your kit's gonna come with a fancy foam brush. And this month we're trying a finger dauber. 
for the stencil. If you got the first kit, you should still have your brush that we sent with that kit. You got a brush with that, so. Yeah, you might have that. And if you're a crafter, you probably have paint brushes. But I always like to send something just in case they don't. And then you just wash it in between colors because I don't want to ever assume that somebody has all the supplies necessary, especially if some people gift the subscription boxes. And we will eventually have another brush. I always try to send one thing that's reusable. So you either get a reusable stencil or a brush in your kit. Um, and we are in the we process of brushes. designing oh, some go. new stencil brushes. I'm very excited about that. So when that, oops, I did not mean to put that down there. When those stencil brushes come out, we'll let you know. So I'm just gonna put some black on here in random spots. Did you have the heat gun? Um, I can get it real quick. I'm gonna get some paint on here first though. Are you gonna do not the black? I'm, I might do the black, but we'll see how it goes with the blending, how, how messy I am this morning. You're blending? Well, you know, like how you're doing with the undertone. Oh, you mean layering? Yeah. The base coat. Yep. And this this uh, clock will absorb your paint really, really well. It's it's MDF, but it acts like raw wood and it just sucks it up. Oh, also, guys, it comes with clear wax. Some of you guys are gonna get clear wax that um, is in a two ounce container because that's what I had. So it's not full, but that's because you don't need two ounces of wax for this. You don't even need one ounce of wax in this. And let's be honest, I don't ever wax my stuff because the paint ain't coming off, but I send it in case you want it. Well, and the, uh, you can you can apply that really easily with like a rag or even yeah. a paper towel. Or you can save it for another product that actually needs wax. This, this month you're getting clear wax. It's the beeswax um, by Sweet Pickens. All smells right. delicious so i've got my face first coat on there jamie's going all black with hers no i'm just base coat <laughs> well i'm waiting for you to give me the dryer oh you need the heat gun okay mm -hmm. now you could also <clears throat> i cannot even talk this morning you could also wet distress this too and like use a heat gun and try to make it chippy you could seal it do some resist on the video that we uploaded yesterday, or was it Thursday? No, we, Thursday. We've had a few video. videos this week, in the last week, where we've been using milk paint and. Um, well, I was just gonna say on Thursday's video, we showed you how to take our core bowls that we sell, and we show you how we make them chippy with milk paint. Oh yeah, that was. We can show you those if you missed that video. So Thursday's just video wasn't shopping. just a stay-at-home shopping video. We did, some, we did some stuff in it. That's right, we painted in it. Because Leslie said more painting. I was like, all right, <laughs> we'll paint. I actually, just because we needed to paint for the items that we were selling. So, <laughs> all right, I'm just heat gunning that in there because I need to paint my face white. Okay. And then I'll deal with the rest later. Do we have comments? Um... The QR code is just so you, like for people that don't watch us religiously, but get the subscription box and they need to know how to put it together. That's all it's for. I don't assume that everybody watches every video. I mean, I'd like you to, but <laughs> I know it's not a realistic Not every video is what everybody wants to watch. Like sometimes we're doing crafting, sometimes we're doing thrift hauls, sometimes we're doing really chippy finishes. Oops. Sometimes we're doing blended finishes. So Sometimes everybody kind of just dry. watches what they want to watch. Oh, you, you, you mix and paint. Yeah, I'm not really meaning to. Okay, so I just went, I'm, I'm excited to see, cause you have three colors. You could potentially mix and match and darken and lighten these colors pretty easily to your own taste. I'm excited to see what you guys do with these kits. So if you're in the Jamie Ray Vintage group, make sure you're posting your pictures of your clock kits because I love seeing all the fun creativity that you guys do. It always, it always blows me away. I'm like, oh man, that's way better than my clock. So just know if you're signing up for the subscription box now, you will not get your box until July. Yeah. This box is already gone. We do have 10 extra just clocks with the mechanism and the stencil, not the paint on the JRV home website, but we only have 10 that just have to be left over. And then next month we'll be doing the core bowl. Um, not next month, sorry. Next quarter we'll be doing the core bowl and that'll ship out the end of July. I need one more foam brush so that I just don't have to Just go grab wash. a regular, brush. I, regular just, brush. I just wanted to show them what it comes with. I know most of y'all have brushes and you're probably just gonna save these for maybe touch up on something. I like to have foam brushes when I gotta touch something up and I'm feeling lazy. 
All right, so now I'm gonna come through and hopefully the black has dried, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, it's more white. I mean, it's not perfect. I'm gonna have to second coat my clock face. The idea when I was designing these, Jamie's like, can you make it look kind of like the top of a Mora clock? I'm like, I'll see what I can do. That's a tall order for something that has to fit in a small box. Well, I wanted a whole Mora clock, but yeah, I mean, because of what we charge for the boxes, I can't send you a whole Mora. So I sent you all that I could, <laughs> all that would fit. Yeah, it's not, it's not like an $8,000 craft. Board. I come up with an idea and then... Because <laughs> that's, that's about what a good, working, functional Mora clock costs you. I do want to come up with a Mora-inspired clock that's larger that we just sell that hangs on the wall, but it's not a kit, just something we, we make a few of. All right, my face is painted. I'm going to go with blue now. I got to do this. So I left, so when you get it, I left this. A lot of people have molds and things. We didn't include them in this, but you could easily like mold this whole section here and even wrap some molds or something around there. And really, I mean, this is like the basis. If you're real crafty and you have the, uh, the, the supplies to do extra, by all means, like that's part of the design. I left it open so that people that have that stuff can do it. But it also, I think, has got a good design if, if you're just gonna leave it plain and paint it. I just gotta make sure this is really dry. I probably need to put another coat on the face because there was a lot of black swirling happening. We'll show you our actual, we have a Swedish clock. So when we're done, we'll show you the face of that so you can kind of see how our little replicas can tear. I'm flip this over. I'm just gonna paint the back real quick. I might not even paint this middle section just to save time and the clock goes in there, but you can, you can paint yours because it might be seen from all angles. If you use a heat gun, it helps it crackle because on this uh, MDF, it's not going to chip. It's not going to crackle. It's just going to get soaked right up into that yeah, you might If you get it dry, maybe mix your paint up a little thicker and kind of clump it on and then you can get some good crackle out with like a second coat. Or you can put some sealer or shellac on it. You can make this look really old. I'm just getting this dry. All right. I think you had a good idea with the uh, the black underneath. Because when we sand this, I'm going to... I'm going to wet distress it. Oh, you're wet distressing yours? Yeah. Tammy says she can't wait to get yours. Hers. Hers. <laughs> well, I mean, we probably will sell these because we don't need six clocks hanging around that we demoed. I mean... <laughs> so it might end up like on a Saturday night thrift haul or Thursday video or something. Can I have that when you're done? Yeah, hang on. I'm just... I decided to just go for it. Just paint the back? Yeah. So the back, the reason why it has a ridge on the back is so that way it, the mechanism doesn't poke out further. Bonjour, Julie Tanner. All right, here you go. All right. Oh, I missed the top. Can you paint the top? Sure can. Be careful not to get it on my black. I don't know where your black is. It's on the front, on the face. You missed a lot. <laughs> I know, I was painting the back. I'm like, wow, I missed the whole huge section all over the place. All right, that's probably good. I can well, come you're, back. Okay, you're probably gonna need to. All right, I'm gonna second coat my white because it's, it's just air drying here. It's got enough. Uh, tooth that I can repaint this. I guess I should paint facing forward. Cause this is this early on a Saturday guys. Usually Saturday is the day that I don't set an alarm and I wake up when I feel like waking up. So this is, this is about when I'd probably be rolling out of bed most Saturdays. <laughs> I'm an early riser. Jamie's been up since five looking at how she wants the, uh, the sheep pen slash shed to look. Cause that's what today's project is here at the house. Well, I fall asleep earlier than Zeb, so there's that. I don't know that we're gonna film a ton of that. We might have some snippets that we include in a video next week, but I gotta, I gotta knock it out. And filming always makes things take a little longer. Well, yeah. And well, people say they wanna see the builds. They just wanna see what they it looks like when it's done. They just wanna see what it looks done. like. <laughs> they aren't necessarily gonna go build themselves a sheep barn. Maybe. We'll include enough that you could probably figure it out. We don't ever have a plan is the problem. Okay, we're getting there. 
I like it with the black underneath kind of blended in. That looks cool. It's not, it's not really blended, it just needs two coats. Uh, it's looking a little blended. Well, I thought I dried it. All right, I'm excited to get the face on here because that's really gonna make this whole thing come together. Do you need a heat gun? Um, yeah, I'm gonna heat gun this real fast. Well, I keep missing spots. You definitely have enough paint that you can paint the front of your clock, the back of your clock, a few candlesticks that don't move because you can see Zeb and I are sharing paint here. So that is the benefit of getting the uh, craft kit is you get more paint than you need and wax that you don't necessarily need at all, but I send it just in case. You can use that on something else. Sometimes I send top coat. You just never know what you're gonna get. This time it was clear wax. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and heat gun this. All right. What are, do we have any comments? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we are live. <laughs> So I'm just getting the heat on mine here. Thanks, Yumiko. I love the um, living room trunk too. Although it is a little tall for the space, so if you see it at a JRB home near you, just know that it's gonna hang out there until I find maybe a trunk that's just like. Like two we put it shorter. in the space afterwards because it was kind of crusty when we got started, so we didn't want to put it in there on the rug and see. And dimensions wise, we're like, ooh, that's that's really tall for a coffee table. So it's probably only going to live there for a little while until we well, find something better. Sometimes you think things are temporary and then they wind up hanging out for longer than Yeah. Long. All right. I, I missed a few spots painting. I mean, it so. works great as like blanket storage. Now I got white up in here. Blend that situation. So you can just let yours air dry. We're heat gunning for purposes of demonstration so we can get through this in a timely manner. But if you wanna craft along with us once you get your kit, throw the video on and just go along with it. Are right, you doing the face, you're stenciling? Uh, I think I'm ready to stencil. Okay. I might do, I need to get a little more of this blue on here. I've got some light spots. We'll show you up close. The heat gun really does get that paint to crackle pretty well. Even though it's on raw MDF. I'm also doing a second coat and it's really bringing the rich tone of this up on the blue. made it start to crack and chip. We got chippage on the second coat here. Ta-da! So, never underestimate the power of a heat gun. Oh, I need that brush. I know I'm hogging it. That's all right, I'll just brush, I'll just dry my face some more. You could tape this off too, but I like to just paint up to the ledge and then swipe at it. like a blended paint finish. I know, I'm seeing yours. I like it though. I'm gonna have to end up doing something similar, I think, on mine. To make it look interesting? No, I just, so I've got mine with just like the black around with one coat of the blue over the top. You can kind of see there. We'll just stress it back. I'm contemplating adding some white, like You know what, I, I was just it. thinking I might do white on this little detail piece up here. Yeah. Are you gonna stencil? I need the heat gun again. Oh. <laughs> so you use it till you're done. Um, can I reach over? Yeah. I can reach, so we're good. I'm gonna I'll paint just, this white. I'll just hold it up over your project. Yeah, don't, don't ruin my masterpiece here. All right, oops. It's kind of chipping off while I'm... Is it chipping while you're painting? Yeah, while I'm painting. That's why I love me some milk paint. Chippy, chippy. Also, I'm totally not offended if you get the kit and you're like, I just want to use my own paint colors. It's fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to put so many coats on this face, except for I had black that smeared, so I'm trying to make it a little bit whiter. Alright, I think it's time to stencil. You know, this kit should get to you guys unless the post office has delay situations just in time that if your mama needs one of these, you could give her one. If you already ordered it, you could give her, like, make it and give it to her for Mother's Day present because Mother's Day is coming. Yes. Also, I don't know if you guys... It's, not, know. it's like two Sundays away, and it's Saturday, so that's not very long. It's like a week. I don't know if you guys know this, but both JRV uh, Home and JamieRayVintage.com have a wish list option. So if you have children, husbands whatever and you need to be like hey here's a suggestion you can make a wish a wish list on the website and send them what you want or you can get a mug or you can get a mug i mean we sell mugs but you know what i'm saying like sometimes you're like oh let me add that to my collection actually i always get really good stuff because that usually helps the kids make it yeah i almost always make something Last year I was building the house and we didn't, I was like, that's Mother's Day right there. We made breakfast, we got some flowers, Do lots that. of chocolates. <laughs> I was pretty tired, so that was pretty good for me. All right, are you ever gonna paint your face or are you just gonna Well, paint? so I cleaned up my edge one more time. I wanted it to look nice and crisp. All right, I'll make mine crisp. One more paint situation here. I know, we'll everybody's, eventually. everybody's on pins and needles for the stencil, which is really what makes this whole thing. I really hope it looks good. We've not actually used this smaller stencil. We have a bigger version that we've been using to number everything because we love the style of the numbers. So if you've been watching recent videos, we break out the clock kit and we number it. Oh, you, you're getting a lot of chipping over there. I might have to come back and add some white over and see if I can get it to crack Because I'm the chippy queen. People yeah. are like, I can't get my milk paint to chip. And I'm like, I show you all my tricks. I'm not holding anything back. This has to be a mess. That's the trick. All right, here you go. All right. Stencil time. Okay. In your kit, you will have gotten this little foam. Um, it's, it's like a, it's like a, almost like a makeup brush. It's, I feel like it's a lot better for stenciling than these kind of foam ones that you can get that are round like this. And it'll fit on the end of your finger if your finger's small. It doesn't fit on mine, so I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to bring this down so you guys can watch as the stencil happens. I want to show you the chipping that happens. <laughs> Even though you wouldn't expect it on MDF. Ooh, my clock is cool. I'm going to get sandpaper. Okay. And I'm going to... Well, off camera right now. How dare I? Sorry. There's nobody on camera. Look at that. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we'll bring you right here up close. So I think I'm gonna get a little bit of paint the out. It doesn't come with sandpaper. And just put it right here. Yeah, you can't. Doesn't have sandpaper. Sanding is optional. Jamie's over there sanding hers. Is it really optional? I mean, I don't know. So I'm just. I don't want to put my whole little. I don't know. Dauber in there. So you want to kind of line this up. And you can measure if you're real worried about it. So this is the inaugural. Daub. Let's see how the dauber Zeb's works. Zeb's finger doesn't fit in the dauber, so. Yeah. Just disclaimer, not, not a one size fits all dauber. I'm just wet distressing, guys. Bringing back the black, that's why I put it underneath there. So I could get like multiple layers. In my situation. Okay. And then I'm gonna bring back the heat gun to dry the water. This might be juicy. I'm having to really push with this. Well, we'll, we'll show them how it works and then they can, they can do a better out. job than us. <laughs> oh, okay. It works better if you swirl it. Just throwing that out there. Paint 
you know, the clock face. The clocks originally are old enamel faces, so paint chipping on your clock face is totally good. And if you have a stencil brush, by all means. By all means, do not use our dauber, but we are showing you how to do what is provided. Oh, the juiciness on this is real. This might not look that great, guys. I'm going too fast. Well, okay. It's okay, we have clock number two. All right, did you see how I like really, I figured it out. You gotta squish it out over here and then you can go in. I'm, I'm nervous to pull this up. I'm not I'm used nervous. to stenciling with this. I love a good brush, but it can be done. You're nervous. I think you'll be all right with time and therapy. Yeah. I'm just touching it up a little. It's like a delicate balance between like. I wonder. Chippy and streaky. What do you wonder? Trying something different. The trouble is these little circles are so small that you gotta like squeeze the paint out onto Where's them. my dauber? Okay, I may be repainting this face. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we're professionals. It's gonna get a blue white face. Did you have too much paint? Well, so what I was telling you, I don't know that your dog is gonna work. I should have tested that beforehand. This, see what I'm doing with the brush here? Is easier. Because with this, this is coming in your kit, but I'm telling you right now, like. All right, well, let's see. <laughs> Pull it off. Hang on, I need something to. Use this. All right. Oh, I would just stuck it in the middle hole. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> it's stuck down. Here we go. No, it's not coming off. I told you lots of paint got up under me. There we go. See what I'm saying? Oh, you're messy. No, like you have to push with this to get it in. So I'm going to do this again and we're going to get this figured out. So you guys have better success than me. Nah, it's fine. Did you wipe that off before you put that on there? Yes. Okay. Yep. Jamie's going. We'll see how she does. So what did you say the problem was? I was having to squeeze the paint up underneath to get those little dots and that's why it got all messy. It's okay. I'm gonna uh, paint over this real fast. All right, before I do the whole thing, let's see. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Don't use this. It's in your kit, but you know, use it to paint. <laughs> use it for your third color. What did we learn? Oh look, but it's adding a really nice, lovely layer of age. Happy little accidents. Ta-da! I'm gonna leave mine. I'm not gonna repaint over it. I'm gonna leave the gray wash situation. No, I like it. Oh yeah. That's good. Alright, so I might just sand mine heavy and see what happens. They said, somebody said just use a makeup sponge. I don't know, I feel like that's not gonna work either. So you're just gonna use the... I'm gonna sand mine, and then yeah. I'm gonna, after you sand yours. <laughs> well, I did go get the sandpaper. I just wiped mine off with a rag. I would wipe it off with a rag so it's flush, and then just repaint it. Yeah. All right, what happens if you use an actual JRV stumper brush? Okay. Okay. 
that's that's cheating because they're not getting that in the kit. We well, have to do I'm it gonna comes cheat, in the kit. and you're gonna use the foam brush that comes with it. We'll do like a compare and contrast. Like, what have we learned? These are crap. It was good in concept. I Googled it. It had good reviews. So I was like, well, I'll order these. So that way. And that is looking kind of cool. Right? The layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. It's going to have like ghost of messy stenciling. The ghost of stencil past. Mm -hmm. I'm going to knock this out over here where we're not. Well, that was a little juicy on the floor. A little juicy on the floor, guys. Oh, okay. you went fast again. I don't think you're going to get a better result. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like. Oh, since this isn't set up, this is wiping off pretty good. That's what I told you. Oh. See, we, we meant to oh. do this. We wanted, I got shifty. We wanted to show got... you how to mess up three or four times so Sorry. that when you guys get it, you're like, okay, I'm not going to do that. That was fine until I shifted. I got a lot of shift this morning. Here. Crafting before 10 a.m. Not Hard. recommended. <laughs> Crafting before breakfast. I need to make biscuits and gravy. Oh, is that what's for breakfast? Well, if we hurry. No, I don't know. We're going to have time. We're going to get to it. Shed building. Mm -hmm. All right. Heat gun one more time here. Well, probably two more times because I'm going to dry it and stencil again. And I'm going to use the brush that comes with the foam brush so you guys can see. That's the next level right there. Are you using up all the white? Look, I know a lady who has my white paint. They're like, how many times can you screw up and still not run out of paint? From Actually, I'm kind of loving the chippy crackle distress that I got on my clock face. This may be the best accident ever. Look at this on my clock face. Happy little accidents. Just screw up about four times. Look at that. I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that. All right, mine would have been fine. I need to stop shifting. Okay, so I've got a lot of black paint on here. What I'm going to do is take this that comes with the stencil and press the paint out because that's what's happening is when I mush the foam brush, it's just squishing up underneath that stencil. So now I've got mostly a dry brush here. Mostly. Can so you pass me the you, know, you can mush with whatever you want. You just got to get that paint out of that brush or wash it. You have the long arms. It is your job in life. Yep. It's okay. And I'm I still also, want to catch your arm hair on fire. It's okay. I melted a bunch of arm hair yesterday making Ty's birthday present. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wipe this stencil off so I get a good, clean start. Start fresh. Do you have any paper towels anywhere? What? Paper towels have gone missing. It's okay. Paper towels are in the corner behind Alexa. Oh. All right, where can I have the sandpaper? Yep. All right. Shift happens. That's true. Shifting happens. You gotta be careful. We're full of shifts. All right. Going back in. I'm gonna distress some more while I wait. Look at the age. Well, don't we have that a box when you screw it? full what? of stencils over there? What, like extras? Mm hmm. Yeah, let's try not to use them. Why? Do you want me to do it with that? I'm good. Okay. So this is over here standing the chippy. This is much drier. Oh, I got where's the blue brush? You got that? I got some white where I didn't want it to go. Okay. I'll just paint the back. And then I'm just gonna little dobs here. Wipe off 
Oh man, that really absorbs into this brush. Do, do, do. Okay, if you mess up, then we'll try again on mine. <laughs> Get your brush really dry. Patience is the key. Patience. Patience, my friend. It's like we, you think if we owned a stencil company. I don't use foam brushes ever though, so that's like a whole new bag of tricks for me. Maybe we should use brushes more so we can help people out when they're when they're having to come apart because their stencil won't go clean. <laughs> painted the back less if you're watching. I mean, I painted the back-ish. Okay. Do you want me to help you? Mm -mm, no, it's like... You don't trust me? No, I'm just using this brush here. Back away. <laughs> I'm determined to do it with what comes in the kit. Fine. Let's be here. Touching up paint, repainting. You could read comments. I'm sure there's a few hundred that you haven't looked at. Oh, they're fixing resolution for people. Oh. It's a common situation. Someone had something happen with their project. I could start making biscuits and gravy while I wait. No. <laughs> we got to do it with cottage core. It's a thing now. Using what you have? Yeah. Well, no, just making stuff from scratch. We're trying to, we, we used the word before we actually knew what it meant. So we asked some people and then they're like, we were explaining cottage cores, like going back, like flowery, kind of romantic, you know, English country garden, European situation, making stuff from scratch. I was like, it's like my dream life. I do like to make stuff from scratch when I'm not super busy and I do know how to do it. For many years I made, I'm like, I was cottage core before it was cool. I was called, I was cottage poor. <laughs> so, I had to make stuff, not because I wanted to get back to my roots, but because I wanted like nice quality baked goods and I ain't spending no $4 on an eclair when I can barely afford milk. So I learned how to make eclairs myself and they're really not expensive to make. There is a quite a process though. There, it is a process, but they were delicious. And then we would can stuff. People in the neighborhood would be like, we're getting rid of this, it's free. I'm like, I'll can it. I'll build, build up my food storage. Amber was laughing at my cottage pool. <laughs> <laughs> Seth and I have a certain set of skills. It's called that, that's probably why we're DIY YouTubers, because we would see stuff and be like, we'd really love to have that, but we have this many dollars. All right. <laughs> Elizabeth said I made her laugh with my cottage pour. You're getting there. I, well, I'm, I'm still nervous. I feel like this, because... It's fine. This, we'll just dress it. It'll be good. This is why I don't do a foam brush. <laughs> when I stencil because I'm not skilled at it. There are some people, they're like, I only use foam brushes. Me, I'm over here. Ashley like... from Japan. Ashley, so since you're in Japan, do you go thrifting there and do you find Japanese like iron stone do dishes? Do they do thrifting or is it like a market situation? I'm just curious because I always like everything made in Japan. I'm just wondering if there's a market there. Two hundred and seventy people on a Saturday morning. Watching me fail at stenciling. Hey guys, what's in. up? This is the fail episode on our own craft kit. If you're just tuning in, this is the craft kit that we're mailing out, and we're trying to show you guys how to craft it. I think this is definitely going to be. It's probably going to have a little bit of juice under there, but I think it's going to fit because if you look at those old Mora clocks, they're all hand painted, and so you can see like we're where done. they went out of the line. Say hi. We're gonna go to the store in a little bit and buy some stuff for the sheep barn. So you can come then. We gotta go to the garage first and see what we already have. Yeah, we got we got some leftover stuff from building the house. Not Did a lot. Did you finish watching DuckTales? I tried to not buy too much stuff. No, I was watching Pokemon. Pokemon. Zeb tried to put on some vintage I'm like, DuckTales. I'm like, let's watch what I used to watch as a kid. I watched some DuckTales and he's like, I've seen that. I just wanna watch Pokemon. Says, Hi, Jeff. Belinda says she wants biscuits and gravy now. Oh, man. It, We're going to 
This morning we'll have to go to the gas station and get it. Our gas station away. here makes the best biscuits and gravy. True that. Once the new shop comes to the church, we will give you directions to the gas station where you can also get some delicious gas station biscuits and gravy. And for an extra like buck, they throw, throw a bunch of bacon on it. All right, that's better using the foam brush. Still. It looks cottage core. Oh, that's good. I'm going to I'm gonna heat gun it. I'm going to sand it. Hey, Jack, you got to be quiet though. I'm going to heat gun it. I'm going to sand it and then it'll be what it is. So what I want you to do is I want you to show them like our actual Mora clock that we have. Well, it's not a Mora, it's a Norse clock, but we're going to just call it Mora because most people it's, don't know that there's different names for them. But there is. This is a heck of a lot better than that face that one guy was like printing out. Not to throw him under the bus, but I want to send him a stencil and be like, Here's a stencil. Stop printing out more faces for your clocks. Amber Young says she needs your your uh, shirt. Oh, um, we have this shirt. I think we still have them at jrvhome.com. They were part of our spring shirt collection, maybe. Oh, Look for graphic tees. Someone said let Jack paint. <laughs> oh, let Jack paint. We're almost done here. Jack does paint a lot. He is a good painter. People have come to the shop and purchased furniture he has painted, not knowing that a five or six year old now, he was five when he painted his last piece that sold. I was like, you just paid $200 for that and my five year old painted it. <laughs> He's good. He is good. He's grown up with a paintbrush in his hand pretty much. I've been painting since I was like, Four. You did a video when you were three about using DIY wax. Yeah, so cute. Oh, also, I did good, but I went too fast. Yeah, you. Three. You also messed up. Sorry, I'm gonna distress it and I'm gonna call it good because I'm already moving on. You're over it already. Yep. You know what? This the orbital will fit exactly in here. Jack is dead mini me. No, he actually looks just like who? Who do you look like? Yeah. Put a brown bob on him and he looks just... So guys, if you go slow and you're not irritated, it'll be fine. Yeah, just I'm... don't don't be on a live video when you're doing it. And when you're hangry. At 8 a.m., 8.30, what is it, 9 yet? Someone said hi again. All right, I'm taking this out and I'm going to orbital this face. I'll be back. It's good that I mess up because, like, the average human isn't, like, perfect at crafting. So I can be like, look, well, you're not perfect. You're still a I'm boss. below average on my crafting. Are you checking it out, Jack? My grass is coming in good. Jamie's like, how do we get our yard to look like the neighbor's yard? I'm like, you got to water it and fertilize it. Yep, you can wipe that out. I know, and you slammed the door. <laughs> The front door shuts hard because it's uh, it's old and <laughs> it's got a big pane of glass in it. You really hear it when it gets shut hard. Whoa. Okay, a little extra distressing around the edge here. Okay, Jack, can you wipe the edge of that? I'm gonna get my clock back together. You know what? Let's get that just lightly damp. Not so much that it takes the paint off. Okay. I'm going to do this because I just want to see what happens. Oh, muddied up the waters here. That's working good. All right, orbital sander. I just want to show you like how neat the, the first numbers I did are, and you can see where it got sloppy and not so neat on that side, but okay. I'm gonna give it to my mom. She's gonna love it. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Can I try? Okay, Jack, where'd the little washer go that I had? Yeah. I'm gonna oh, get off I some of that extra black powder there. I don't think your mom knows we're live. She's out there yelling. Mom, are you yelling? 
All right, okay, Jack, put, the, put that on. Is that cute? We had to custom design the font for the stencil so it looked like a more clock. Because I didn't actually have any of those anymore. All right, where's some wax? I'm going to put some wax on see what we get. Yeah. Okay, did you get that on there, Jack? The question yeah. remains, do I have to? I thought I just grabbed a big container of it. <laughs> this is an hour hand, and this is a minute hand. Okay, let's hour put... And Let's see, which one goes on first? The hour hand goes on first. Mm -hmm. Press that on. Then what time is it? Mom... 19. So... Do you have your keys to the car? The box is in the back. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it on 919. Yep, it's unlocked. Okay, and then we've got this hand here. We're going to adjust the time. Where's our little face that I had? Oh. I left it up over here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that one on there. And mom, go run up, go run up in the playroom and grab me a battery off the charger. Okay. Mom had a couple batteries, but she just walked outside with them. What time is it? 9.20? Oh, I didn't get my face tight enough. Hold on. When in doubt, tighten the face up. Better than I did. <laughs> How's yours coming along good? It's coming along good. All right, so this is not the size of wax you get, but this is the size of wax that <laughs> I use um, to portion yours out because I buy it at the hey, court. You gonna sit over here? I'm working, kid. I'm gonna get some out. Just put it on my baggie because I don't want to contaminate this whole situation. All right. It hardly takes any wax to do a project like this. There you go. Battery. Rechargeable battery. All right, let me have that one there. Gonna drop My it wax in. brush always has white wax on it. So it doesn't come with a wax brush, but you can just use like a lint-free rag or Let's whatever. Works. Let's see if this works, Jack. It's moving. Okay, let's set the time. What time is it? Can you look over on the Alexa and tell me what time it is? It's 9.21. 9.21 I really now. accentuated the age situation. You're just smeary. I know, I wiped it with white. Oh. It's okay, I'm gonna wax it and I think it'll be fine. 9.21. I'm gonna buff this one. Okay, there it is. I really like mine actually. Yeah, yours turned out good. I Maybe think my I mom can have yours. Maybe we'll use the. <laughs> this can be the poster child one, and yours can be here. There's more wax on my baggie. Got a little bit of wax there. I'm gonna dodge these these hands. <laughs> Do you want to use my? I might have to just repaint Wait, this. Wait, no, Dad. Though. If it's nine. But that's the beauty of the craft kit. Dad, well, if mine it's looks good. Nine twenty-two. All right, I guess Whoa. I should recall oh, that. Sorry, I'm okay. slacking. Look, you gotta adjust it with the back here. Hold on. Nine All right, just know that if you're ordering a craft kit right now, because I'm seeing orders yeah. come through, they are for next uh, next quarter. So next quarter will not be the clock. It's going to be a corbel. Uh, the clock link. Let me find you the link if we have any left, because we only have like ten um, of these available that are just, your kit won't come with paint for this one because this is not the subscription kit. This is just leftover clocks with stencil, clock, and the clock mechanism. It says so in the description, but there we go. All right, guys. Don't muddy up your clock like I did. Do like Jamie did. I didn't do anything special. Go, it's a very small. How did you do small, that to yours? I wiped it back with wet. Oh, with a wet rag? Yeah. Oh. After I was all done, I was going to repaint it. And I'm I like, yeah, oh, we don't have time I for that. I used a, hold on. <laughs> oh. a spring. Like, I survived COVID, but the allergies are going to kill me. This is very detailed. I just used a Go paper slow. towel. Go all slow. Right. Can you put my kit together for me? Because I don't really want to yes. put parts on it. And I do want to keep it. You do want to keep that yeah. one? 
You can send that one to your mom. She'll love it. My mom? Yeah. Well, I might repaint that again off camera, but they, they're tired of muddy. they're tired of seeing me fail. They're ready to get their kit and show oh, me how it's really done. I might done. be able to fix that. Nope. No, it's... I, I wiped it back too much and then I had black from sanding I mean, and it, it was a thing. There was a house fire 50 years ago with this mortar clock. It's just, it's story. We actually have clocks over there. Lisa says she loves them both. Oh, you want my Norse standing clock? My Norse clock? Oh, I haven't clock? showed them. I thought wanna... you already did. Nope, I did not. Right. I've been over here trying to fix my mess that I made. When in doubt, just repaint, guys. It's really easy. <laughs> if you just want the paint, we sell that at jamierayvintage.com. But here's my clock. Here, we'll get it close. I can open it so you can see the face. This is from Sweden. It's got a chip in the enamel. But somebody hand painted this and they were very neat. But yeah, so that's that. This is the one from Sweden. This is the French clock. And yes, I do have two very expensive antique clocks sitting right next to each other. I haven't figured out what to do with them. Also, my Roomba's in there. All right, there we go. I think that the French clock might live in here and then the Norse clocka might live in my bedroom or maybe that's gonna go in the family room, I don't know. So Mora clock is probably the most common name for this. I was like, that's not mine. This style clock, um, but they're actually like, that's kind of like Crayola for crayons. It's like the uniform name. So that's like a Norse clock because of where it's from in Sweden. We had a clock lesson when it's a round top. All right, let's see. Jack, do you have an M&M's for breakfast? I'm just looking to see. Is there time for an apron tutorial? Oh my goodness, Nancy. Oh, <laughs> mine is in the, I will go get it. It's in the laundry room. All right, so I think you've got a basic idea on how to get your kit together. Mm -hmm. Do better than me. Mm -hmm. um, don't muddy up the waters. Use a dry towel. Mm -hmm. um, Jamie's turned out great. Look how bright her face is on there. Mm -hmm. It's passing the six foot rule. But <laughs> Jack's over here humming to his m and He's like, mm, mm, mm. Um, But yeah, I'm excited to see. So like I said, post them in the Jamie Ray Vintage group. Um, when you get your kit, we'd love to see your, uh, your kits and what they, how they turn out and what they look like. If you have any questions or... Oh, Jamie's got an apron now too. Just hit us up. Um, I'm out of breath. We like to answer questions, so don't feel so this, afraid to ask them. It's all wrinkly, but when you get your grain sack apron, Nancy, it comes like this. It has a crisscross in the back with two straps. Nancy's been asking for this. You put your head through the top, your arms through the side. Did you just get that fresh out of the washer? Yeah, it's, it's been waiting to be steamed. Oh. Because <laughs> it got all like bound up around a bunch of stuff in the washing, in the dryer. And then look at the back. Hold on, let me wipe my hair. That's what it looks like in the back. Oh, don't you remember And you can tie it back here. Or I like to cross it in the back no, and I like to pull mine around front and then tie it. But this is how you wear a green sack. Cross back apron. We're sold out on the website, but I'm gonna hopefully get some more. So head through, cross. Head through, cross arms through the holes. And then poke it out the side. All right, guys, we're gonna take off and get our day going. Guys, but don't, you don't wipe it with water. This is what happens. What are you saying, Jack? Don't you remember when I made this gold candle? This the gold skull candle? candle? Mm -hmm. That was like. I don't remember that, but how about you hold this and tell them to give us a thumbs up? Give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to Jay Murray Vintage for more DIY and messy projects. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy your clock kit. Love you guys. Bye. And maybe we'll make.